when I demonstrate acting on this odd irregular shape control arm. And I cut it and ask myself, what's the net pressure force in the x direction? What's the answer? <coughs> it's zero. It's zero. Do you see that? Okay, so all this detail will be useful in subsequent consideration. Because in the plate board, <coughs> the control volume is not a white cylinder, it's not a rectangle, it's an arbitrary shape. You know, I'm going to ask you what is the net pressure in five minutes. Yes? Um, when dealing with the Carnegie equation, you have the sum of the forces in the x and the y. When it comes to the example we did in the homework, would it be technically wrong to include the weight as the sum of the y because it's not part of the flow? Well, first, I, if I understand your question, first and foremost, I don't want you to mix continuity equation with the momentum. They're totally decoupled. In continuity, there's no forces, no pressure, only velocity and area. That's for continuity. Okay, the momentum equation. Ask that again. So if you have the sum of the forces, in this case, we have the sum of the forces in y. Yeah. Would it be wrong if we include the weight of the nozzle in the water in that equation? Like no, you should include that. Even though they're not acting on the flow itself? They're acting on the control wall. Okay, so let me write down the momentum equation. So this solution will be posted right after class, and I want all of you to, to, to look at that before you do the next set of homework, because that kind of question is exactly what some of you may be struggling. To that effect, let me just diverge momentarily. Every year there will be a handful of them, less than half a dozen. We take this equation, and for some reason that's beyond my comprehension, you will put this to zero. I think that may have come from the continuity. But that's wrong. That's absolutely baloney. Don't do that, okay? So hopefully, after I said that, maybe only three of you will do that. <laughs> okay? Now, let me just write out the momentum equation for this, and I can answer that question. So, the anchoring force, which in the solution, coordinate is plus in the vertical direction, and the anchoring force, by my intuition, or even if I don't know it, I'm going to assume it's pointing up. So that's my FA. Inside my control volume, I have to account for the weight of the water and the weight of the nozzle. And that's the term that has to be accounted for in my submission F X. They act on my control water, they're not acting on the water. I don't see the water, I just see the whole control water. Right. Does that help? Okay, do I have to go further? Can I stop here? Is that okay? So with the solution, I'm gonna time to to cover every piece of the homework. Because then I'll be falling behind. But it's up to you to look at the solution so you can answer those questions. More questions on the homework today. So the circular pipe on the table, 180 degree, you're all, all, all good with that. You can deal with the pressure, and get the answer, etc., etc. Okay, if not, look at the solution, and if you have a question, we'll tackle that next time. So let me just spend a moment on the new homework, which is a little bit interesting. Before I do that, I want to revisit the previous homework, which is this problem of an hydraulic jump. Where you are told that I have a 2D problem. What does that mean? Someone tell me quick. This is this is an old open book, like three lectures ago. But but it has to important bearing now. 2D, yes? The image has a depth. Everything into the paper is the same, so it's per unit depth, right? And you're asked for this problem 
where the velocity profile is different at the exit, not uniform, and it's zero velocity here because of, anyone remember? No Low slip, thank you, that's very nice. No slip, friction, grabbing the fluid, you're not going anywhere because I'm not moving, so zero velocity. And for this, continuity has to be changed. On the uniform side, it's very simple, rho VA, same thing. On the exit side, <coughs> on the exit side, I have to integrate rho V from zero to H. Now I need a differential area. What is the differential area for this problem? This is Y. Anyone remember? So this is DA. What is DA? What is DA? DY times Y. DY times P to death. So I took a strip. So remember this? Have you, you have done it, right? Have you even looked at the solution printed or, or posted? Because you're going to need that now. What happens if I change the problem and make it into a circular pipe where the velocity at the wall is still zero? It has a maximum at the center. What problem do you call this? 2D? 3D? You can make it a little bit simpler than 3D. Uh, axis symmetric. Axis symmetric. Right. Have you seen that before? Well, of course. That's axis symmetric. So how would you do your defensive area if now I have an axis symmetric circular pattern? How would the mass flow rate be calculated? Do you understand my question? The velocity profile is given, it's a parabola, it's in the problem statement, you can look that up. Right. How will I alter? Still have to integrate, still have to have a wall. I'm sorry, this should be a little bit more careful. This capital V should be replaced by a small u, where u is a function of the coordinate y. So here I have to replace velocity u. This is a function of the radius, which is given in the problem state. What did I replace the dA with? Now I had axis symmetric circular pipe. Yeah? DR? Mm, not quite. Yeah? Do you do like a revolution thing where you do pi and then square? Your differential area now becomes a circular strip. Instead of a 2D strip. So what is this differential area that I just shaded? Two pi, very good. Two pi. So this is radius. The strip <coughs> thickness is dr. What is the area of this shaded strip? Circular strip. What is the area? Like the water, the outside radius minus the inner radius? No. 2 pi dr. 2 pi. I'm missing something. It's not 2 pi 